Okay, here is a quick video of all the supplies. Start with the main panel here, 100 amp, squared E QO main panel. <clears throat> it comes with a 100 amp breaker. Here's some 8 gauge wire. This is the wire that's going to run through the conduit straight outside that wall and to that side and it'll end up just un outside my deck where it'll have the this box mounted this box will be mounted this way on the outside wall and this box is the Reliance Electric power inlet box it's a 30 amp box and that cable will be connected to the top top two breakers of that square D panel right here here's all the uh, brand new breakers this guy here is a 40 amp this will be the one for the air conditioner this is a 30 amp this is the actually one that's gonna um, allow the generator to feed the feed the entire panel 10 15 amp uh, breakers and uh, 8 20 amp breakers uh, this is it oh, this is everything is squared EQO It's going to replace this panel here. Here's, uh, for example, uh, grounding bushing, inch and a quarter. That's for the main 100 amp coming in. That's code these days. That was uh, code was changed in 2005. In 91, when this house was built, this is all you needed. Today, this bushing is going to get changed with the new grounded one. It's called grounding and bonding is what it's called. This is a larger neutral lug. So uh, the 8 gauge wire that's going to come back in, it's going to come back in and feed that generator breaker. The two, the red and the black are going to go into the breaker and then the white goes to the neutral. And the reason I got this is sometimes it's difficult to get the white wire to fit into a standard neutral bus. So this allows, this is just that lug that allows for you to easily install and have a clean installation. It's again, it's square D Kyo, it's made for it. Next thing, so as I uh, as you go out of the house for the generator feed, um, the conduit's gonna come straight up out of it and then out. And in order to take it out, we're gonna use a 90. This is the 90 that's gonna push it out. And as it goes out, this exterior 90 is gonna catch it, the conduit, and shoot it that way shoot the conduit that way directly into once again this inlet box here are the compression fittings these are compression couplings rated for outdoor so these are all with a watertight seal with this and this and this box and I also got um, I probably won't need them but I got some these are called, uh, these are some compression connectors. Connectors, connectors. There's also couplings to extend conduit. If you ever need to do that, then, then that's what you use for that. I don't know where it is. Oh, here, here's another thing I can show you. This is a, uh, once again, Square D QO um, equipment grounding bus. So what you do is this, this this panel down here already has holes in the back of it, so this attaches to those holes um, with these provided screws, and this gives you a really neat ground bus. So everything, all the green wires and everything, can be neatly grounded on this bus. And I grabbed two of them, so if I wanted, I could have one on each side, depending on how we use them once the uh, QO panel is in place. All right, man, this should give you a pretty good idea of what's going in. I mean, as you can see, it's pretty simple. It's, you know, three, six half inch coming in. Um, we're going to keep that the same. We're going to have a three quarter inch uh, going out to the generator because it's got the, the, the three eight gauge wires inside of there. So it's got to be thicker. And then you got the inch and a quarter, 100 amp coming in. And, and then we're going to keep that the same. Um, all right, that's it.